Kim Kardashian got a full body scan. Should you? Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com. Kim Kardashian is one of the most influential celebrities of all time. And she recently posted on Instagram that she got a full body scan. And a full body scan obviously is a study that looks at all of your internal structures, all of your organs, and can assess if you have certain conditions like inflammatory conditions, cardiovascular disease, even cancer. And this has brought a lot of attention in the news and in people, and people are wondering, should they get a full body scan? Well, there are definitely pros and cons to a full body scan, and I want to outline some of those here. Let's talk about the pros first. So first of all, it could potentially save your life, right? I mean, let's say you got a full body scan. It was found that you had a serious blockage at one of your vessels that supplies your heart. That could potentially cause a heart attack, right? So if you see that, you're able to treat that, that could potentially save your life. Let's also say that you're one of those people that has certain genetic predispositions to having a lot of different cancers or diseases. Well, if you get a full body scan, you can identify if you have certain cancers that can then be treated and potentially prolong your life, right? Another thing is, let's just say you're like a worrier, like you just, you worry about diseases, even though you're completely healthy, you're just always wondering if you have certain diseases or cancers or, you know, any inflammatory illnesses. Well, you get a full body scan and then you can be at peace knowing that you don't have anything that you need to worry about. So it sounds pretty cool, right? It sounds like an amazing thing that everyone should get. But in reality, there are a lot of cons associated with full body scans. We talk about this from a public health perspective. So first of all, there's something called false positives. A false positive is when the study detects an abnormality or something that's wrong, but in fact, it doesn't really exist. So a certain article and research has shown, especially in the Journal of Magnetic Resonance Imaging, that full body scans can result in a false positive rate of up to 16%. That means nearly one in five abnormalities that are detected are not real. They don't really exist, right? So you can imagine this can result in a lot of unnecessary studies that get done. I don't want to give you a scenario. Let's just say potentially you're getting a full body scan. You get it. Everything looks good, but they notice a lesion in your kidney and they don't know what it is. Well, that needs to get worked up more. So maybe you'll get an ultrasound and you'll get ultrasound of your kidney to see, is this a cancer or is this something that doesn't really matter? Well, the ultrasound gets done. They still don't know what it is. And then they have to recommend a biopsy. A biopsy is a minimally invasive procedure where they take a small sample of tissue. So they're going to take a small sample of that kidney lesion and then send it to pathology to definitively diagnose what that is. So you get that biopsy and then that biopsy comes back and it turns out that it's not cancer. It's nothing you need to worry about. That's a false positive. But let's take a step back and figure out and realize what this caused. So it allowed you to get another test that was not necessary. That probably cost hundreds of dollars, if not a thousand dollars or more. You had to get a biopsy that's generally safe, but they have risks. They have, there's a risk of infection. There's a risk of bleeding. There's a risk of injuring structures in the body, in the biopsy route, right? And all this costs money. And not only that, this does not take into account all the anxiety that you and your loved ones are going to face during this entire time, the weeks or months that all this is taking place, right? Like it's going to put you through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, your parents, your loved ones, your spouse, your kids will all have anxiety before the results are all there. So this happens to a lot of people because there's unnecessary tests, unnecessary procedures that get done because of full body scans or retention full body scans. Let's talk about something else, overdiagnosis. Sometimes a scan will diagnose something that really didn't need to be diagnosed and would never have caused harm to you. So maybe it diagnosed an illness, like an inflammatory disease that would never have given you harm, but you get diagnosed with it, then you're put on certain treatments and those treatments have side effects and then you do get harm from that, right? So that's called overdiagnosis. So that's also not a good thing. And that can also happen with full body scans. Also, let's talk about costs. They're not cheap, right? I mean, not everyone can afford a full body scan. They range from anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to even a couple thousand dollars, right? This is not something that the general population can all afford. And finally, does this really save lives when we talk about the masses, the general public health, the population that are going to get these studies? Let's say this was recommended for everyone to get. Would this save lives? Well, there's no data that suggests that full body scans actually save lives. In fact, the American College of Radiology published a statement stating that, you know, all body scans are not cost efficient and they do not prolong life. So there you have it. There are 
some pros, but there are a lot of cons. And this is why precisely no major medical society has endorsed the use of full body scans for the general public to use. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, hope that demystifies some of the concepts that everyone is kind of looking towards for, you know, full body scans. Thank you so much for your attention. Please subscribe to our MedEd page. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.